brief. Uh, first of all, I want to thank staff for their positive recommendation to move this to a public hearing uh, and for the work on this file. It was rather quick and painless to get here, which you probably don't hear often. Um, this is a proposed heritage designation of a building that's already on the heritage register. As you know, there's two levels of heritage recognition in Saanich, and we are applying uh, for the higher of the two where the building would become protected by bylaw. Uh, there's no redevelopment, rezoning, or subdivision proposed uh, as part of this application. I believe the last such proposal like this, uh, where there was just um, an upgrade of the designation, so to say, was all the way back in 2017. Uh, the property looks like this. Um, and of the about 300 or so buildings on the Heritage Register, this is one of about 100 that were all added at the same time uh, in 1996. Now, at that time, it probably made sense to them which ones were registered um, versus designated. Uh, but we feel the house is worthy of designation now for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, this is a rare building uh, in Saanich. Uh, the home was built in 1895. It looks like something uh, out of James Bay. Not only are there few homes of this vintage remaining, um, but this particular building has uh, survived almost entirely intact with all of the exterior original features uh, still present, up to and including the windows, which are often replaced on buildings like this. And uh, being on a major road on Harriet, it presents to the community as a Victorian building and is highly visible. Um, there's also precedent for homes like this being designated within the region. So these are three other similar properties um, that are probably from a very similar plan books of that age. So in Vic West, um, an almost identical structure in Esquimalt and uh, another designated farmhouse in Saanich. Um, the Esquimalt one is actually almost exactly, exactly the same. Um, what's also interesting is that this is not a home that um, started out on a larger lot and was subdivided. It's actually on its original lot um, from that time. And so in 1892, this subdivision was created out of the Yates estate. And uh, three years later, in 1895, this home was built. Uh, and so it's essentially a preserved artifact from the very beginning of, uh, of Saanich's urbanization. And so um, what's interesting is that today it, it sits in a part of Saanich that's envisioned uh, for significant growth and to be, you know, the most urban part of Saanich in the future. And so we feel uh, incredibly lucky to get to live in this place that is uh, a connection to our past, but also that is in a place uh, where we have most of our future aspirations for this municipality. Uh, and with that in mind, uh, I'm not going to read this to you. Uh, I will spare you this, but uh, it is consistent with the Uptown Douglas plan to protect the heritage assets that are already there, despite the growth that's envisioned for the area. Uh, you have seen this, so I will skip past this. Uh, but the designation of uh, registered properties in particular uh, as a goal goes back to the Heritage Management Plan in 1999. Um, so it's actually part of a cluster of homes in that area uh, from about the 1890s through to about the 1920s uh, that all have some form of heritage recognition. Uh, lastly, um, this home has uh, cleared already, I think, what is the highest hurdle to preservation in that it has willing owners. Uh, and so we've corrected issues with the paint on the exterior, repaired rotting wood, done all the stuff you normally do with these older homes, uh, in addition to taking on significant interior work. To give you an idea, uh, not many people install brand new lath and plaster ceilings and walls in, uh, in 2022, uh, but we did. So um, with that, I'll, um, I'll, leave this, uh, I'll leave this with you. Um, we don't intend to sell this place anytime soon, but it is important to note that designation uh, does protect the home against the actions of future owners uh, and helps preserve the home in that uh, not only demolition, but a, even a building permit would require coming back to council. And so we think for this particular property of this particular vintage and in this condition, uh, that that would be important. And lastly, um, Lauren and I both serve on the Heritage Foundation as well. And so part of our motivation for this as well is to go through the process and learn the process so that we can help other owners, especially of, uh, of registered properties, uh, designate their properties. And so uh, happy to say that the process was not that complicated. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll be able to support other homeowners in this as well. So thanks for your time and thanks for considering this application tonight.